Hi guys! In today's video, we'll be doing this ballet outfit or tutu. My inspiration for this was kind of funny because I just watched Yuri on Ice, the anime, which I really liked but I had never watched, which is about ice skating. And a lot of the skaters in there started with ballet. So I ended up looking at ballet outfits and I was like, I want to make one of those. This dress was just inspired by different dresses I saw, so I kind of made this up as I went. First you need to choose which doll you want to make this for, and I went for a posable Barbie. To make my pattern, I used the kitchen film and tape methods, where you cover the doll in kitchen film and then tape, and then you can draw on your pattern and cut out the pieces. I transferred the pattern pieces onto paper to make it a little easier to handle and then I also made pattern for the bottom part. For the main fabric I went for some blue stretch satin and I started by cutting out the pieces for the bottom by sketching them onto the fabric using fabric chalk and cutting them out with seam allowance. I started by sewing together the two front pieces and then the two back pieces. And you can do this on a sewing machine if you want to. I just did this by hand because it was so small all of it. Then sew the front and back piece together. Then I put them onto the doll and folded up the both top edge and the edges around the legs and sewed it in place to hem it and make it look nice. And that's the bottom part done. I wanted the top part to be a little more structured than just being the satin, so I chose to use some white canvas fabric and cut all the pattern pieces for the top out of that, and then I lightly sewed them onto the blue satin. When you have all your pieces ready, you want to start sewing them together. And when it's this small, I don't like to use the sewing machine, I like to do it by hand. And I actually don't pin the things together, I just kind of sew it loosely, making sure my stitches are the same length on each side. And I just adjust it accordingly as I go. So here's one half of the top, then you want to trim away any excess seam allowance and open the seams as best you can to make them look flat.
Then make the other half the same way and sew the two together on the middle. And there's the basis for the top. Now you want to fold up and down the bottom and top edge and hem it. And here we are. Then you want to close it with in the back using velcro or buttons, whatever you want. I use these transparent snap buttons, which I bought off eBay. Next, I cut out a small triangular piece of tool and sew this in the top in the little V. Next is my favorite part of every project is the decorating. So get out rhinestones, pearls, whatever you want to decorate with and use fabric glue to glue this onto the bust. You can add as much or as little decoration as you want, and obviously I always go for match. Now onto the skirt part. I had a bunch of lace trimmings I bought at a miniature fair. I think they might have been from curtains or something, but they're really nice and I wanted to use this for the top part of the skirt. I gathered up the whole length of the lace piece that I had and then I sewed it onto the top going upwards, so when you flip it over it would be nice and poofy. Now for the rest of the skirt, I cut a long strip of tulle that had the um, width that I wanted the length of the skirt to be. And it was really long, it was many times longer than the circumference of the doll. And then I bunched it all up by sewing along the top and then pulling it all tight together. This way it got all nice and wrinkled and very full. And then I sewed it again going upwards onto the top below the first layer that we just added. Again for a very poofy look. I chose to add a top stitch around the tool just to make it stand more like straight outwards and not upwards. And here's the shape of the skirt. I also chose to add some rhinestones to the very edge of the skirt and glued them on. And here we are, here's the Venice outfit. I think this turned out really nice and I really enjoy sewing so I think I'll be doing it more often. I was still kind of thinking about making a Yuri from Yuri on Ice doll in his like Eros outfit with skates and everything just because I really like that outfit and I think the series was really really nice. So if any of you guys would be interested in seeing that, especially since a lot of people have been asking for more male characters, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!